Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is a very interesting video for uh, you know all the computer science engineering or any computer science engineering specializations or information science or even the ECE students right who are looking for career in these fields it will be very important for them to understand right. So this is based uh, you know, for the fastest growing technical fields right in IT industry software industry or you know uh, correlated industries right. So if you see this is based on the research you know it will show you which roles or job profiles are growing much more right and how it you can become them is a what i'm going to tell you right in this particular video so if you see from the top right solution architect uh, that job profile is in the highest demand right and anybody and that is growing with a rate of 454 percentage right so that means four and a half times every year it becomes you know increased right and everybody who is here right can become a solution architect and be it a person who's going to study csc or ca or aiml or data science or cloud or anybody who is going to take computer science related branch and will be can become a solution architect and i will explain in the next part the second and and the sixth one right that is data scientist and data engineer are also in high demand and they are basically part of the data sciences or artificial intelligence and data sciences or core csc with these three four branches you can become a data scientist or data engineer and what are the skills required for that i will explain and that is also growing quite high the next is the web developer so web developer you can become by studying computer science csc engineering or you can become a web developer by studying isc which is information science engineering so information science engineering is more towards the develop web development that and it is also growing at a very good rate the next one is the cloud engineer again everybody of you can become a cloud engineer most probably computer science engineer can easily become a cloud engineer isc student can also become a cloud engineer and lastly the student who are doing computer science in devops or computer science in cloud technology they will become a cloud engineer and i'll explain what type of skills required and then last one is the tech product manager which uh, I, I also i will explain you know what is the skill required to become and tech product managers are also very highly paid people right so i will explain that and data scientists and data engineer are based on your data sciences branch or aids branch or aiml branch or even your csc branch right anywhere anywhere you can become a data scientist data engineer so let's start with the first one that is the solution architect so i mentioned irrespective of your branch everybody can become a solution architect any csc or csc specialization people for example if your branch is information science so from the top right if you are studying information science you can become a on the top you see software architect and the application architect okay so you can become software or application but if your branch is your AI, AI, artificial intelligence machine learning or data science then you can become a data architect which you see in the center if your branch is cloud security or cl or just a secure cyber security then you can become a security architect if your branch is cloud technology then you can become a cloud architect and if your branch is just csc core one right then you can become every one of them you can become a network architect you can become a site reliability you can become a chief architect you can become an, an enterprise architect right so all of those you can become so these type of roles are divided by you know if you're a business oriented person you can become enterprise or chief the color is light blue but if you are operations oriented you can become the dark green type of color right which have four circles and if you are a developer type of person information science study then you can become a software architect or application so these are different varieties of solution architects which are, roles are there that's why you seeing solution architect is growing by 400 percent because there are many roles there offering good amount of salaries and jobs now this is the second one and the sixth one so data scientist skills are you know to become a data scientist you know you will have need to learn at least one web la language like python you will also learn to need to learn a one data visualization tool like a tableau or many of the data tools are there tableau and others then some basic tools like microsoft excel and then some aiml type of skills right where it is natural language processing or machine learning 
some database skill like it can be sql data or it can be no sql database then you need to have a, some social media mining tools right like how you get data from twitter facebook or date those type and you have to study some advanced statistics and advanced maths so you see these are the type of skills you will require and this is the skill required by both data scientist or data engineer if your skills are less you will become data engineer if your skill has grown well you will become data scientist that's the difference now the third one which i explained is how to become a cloud engineer right so you will become a cloud engineer by studying cloud you know technologies and cloud concepts right so there are three companies major on the cloud one is the microsoft which has azure cloud one is the amazon which has the aws cloud and the third is the google cloud and then there are many like ibm and others so you will have to get a skill on any of these three four clouds and the get a cloud specific architect you know certifications you have to do from the language person perspective you have to learn at least one operating system you can learn linux or you can learn unix then i said cloud provider architects certificates which i have already mentioned right which is amazon microsoft azure or any of google or ibm certificates then you have to, to need to study developer devops tool which is called development operations tool right so you will study and then you have to study some programming language now the next one which is the web developer skills right so web development is very suitable to computer science engineering or the information science engineering and they there are multiple web languages which you need to learn but if you see the highest demand is for javascript the second is sql the third is html fourth is css fifth is api sixth is java seventh is python eighth is cloud ninth is no sql and so on php dot net linux so this is based on the web develop if your focus is web development then these are the skills you should know and that is the how the demand is there for different skill sets right the next one i mentioned was about the technical product manager right so technical product manager is actually a very good job profile and it's one of the highest paying jobs in the modern companies because all of the companies are actually trying to become a product company right so if you see this is like a first one solution architect everybody in this all csc and csc specialization branch can become a technical product management and technical product managers role is basically you know releasing a new product so for example you know you know amazon prime right so amazon prime is a new product from amazon right so when they started this platform where you can show the movie right so they will appoint a technical product manager who will th will think you know how the final product will look about so his responsibilities will be setting the goal of that product which he wants to create in this case amazon prime or say creating release plan right right how that technical product will be released in the different phases right and he will then decide the team which will going to create those uh, technical products you know and then he will create a sprint or a run off for each small small part of that project to create a big product right and a background you can see anybody can become a technical product manager in irrespective of which computer science specializations he has taken and skill is he will need some business skill also not only just technical skill he will need a lot of business skills analytical skill and he, and you know high level of you know you know comprehension skills right and the salary in this category is very good and you will get a very highly paid when you become a technical product manager and data engineer i have already covered like a data scientist same skill set you require earlier so friends i have covered all the six you know fastest growing you know requirements on the technical field and if you are becoming any type of software engineer or a csc csc specialization you need to master this throughout your four years you can use a youtube video or the you know, different certification platforms like simply learn and others and start learning you know those to get excellent jobs and placements later on right Thanks for watching and please do subscribe to this channel to get similar and important details and updates.